what is up YouTube, Byron Divine, coming to you with another YouTube video. This is a long awaited video, some people have requested it, some people didn't even think I would be making one of these this soon, but this is all of my football gear. Yes, I said it, but let's get straight into that video. Alright, I am back with all of my stuff. Alright, so first I'm just gonna unpackage everything out of the boxes. So yeah. YouTube. I am back with everything out. It is like everywhere around me and I'm just gonna get straight into it So we're gonna just be starting off with some of the simpler things. So for training I got like a whole bunch of cones or whatever. I keep them inside this little shut bag that has the velcro straps Okay next um, for training wise I have this skills ladder it's kind of hard to, I should have buckled it before I did this, but I have this skills ladder right here for agility and footwork. Uh, next for training, sorry, I almost grabbed my rib protector. I have this kicking tee, nothing about a kicking tee. Next, I have this parachute, which is basically for speed and acceleration, but for me, it usually helps with acceleration more than speed. Okay, going on to the next things. I have this old practice jersey right here. My practice pants are in my closet. I don't even feel like grabbing them. Okay, so now on to some more padding type things. I have this rip protector, it's black. Back here it used to say Riddell, but you know, after using it, it just went away. On to the next thing for padding. If you already watched my What's in My Football Bag video, then you're good. But if not, go check that out. But these are my shoulder pads right here with my red practice jersey and my shutback plate covered with tiger print duct tape. There you go. And I have the buckles. <clears throat> next for padding, I'm just going to go into my helmet. So this is my old... Riddell Revolution helmet with my Bucks logo because I did play for the Bucks at one point in time. There we go, put that back there. Next for helmets, I have my silver or gray with red face mask. Revo Speed with the S2EG face mask. That was my helmet when I played for the Patriots. My Patriots jersey is right there. Next for helmets, I have this black with a green S2EG face mask. This is another, well this is a Revo, Revolution Attack, not a Revo Speed, as you can see by the padding. And then it has the wings for the team, which was the Eagles, but this was just for Nationals. I never played for them in a regular season game. Next and lastly for helmets, I have my newest Revo Speed, which is maroon with the gold face mask and my Tiger's Blood visor. Yeah, put that back there. For some of my other padding things, they are pink, so I will not be including them in this video. But um, on to the next thing. I have my mouthpieces, which is just this black Shock Doctor low profile that I keep inside of my football bag. And I have this other one that I keep inside this Wilson mouth guard case, which is an old 
Shock Doctor one, which I chewed up a lot, which is pretty disgusting. Um, next, I have just some different types of tape. I have this mini designer duct tape, which is also the tiger print again, and then just some normal black spatting tape. So now we're gonna continue into more accessories. So now onto my sleeves, as in cleat covers and arm sleeves. I have this maroon digi camo arm sleeve. Shout out to Nick Cageco, I believe that's his name. I might've pronounced it wrong, but he sent me this. Thank you a lot. Also in sleeves, I have this raised arm sleeve from like something to happen. I do not use this for football, it's just so. So I just keep it with my football stuff. Then I have two blue sleeves right here, sorry. Two blue and black sleeves. There's the other one. And then I have two orange sleeves. I mean, orange, <laughs> neon green, I messed up, sorry. And honestly, these sleeves were just cut from these shirts that I have. I have a couple of them. Next. Um, I'm gonna just include my red tights. These are three-fourth cut. Not even sure what brand. These are like from East Bay or something. I don't even know. Got those. And then I also have the black ones that I'm wearing right now, as you can see. Next, I have my white two-tone cleat covers, which were also in my What's in My Football Bag video. I have a white arm sleeve from cool omg next i have the red white and blue cleat covers right here let me take those out american flag Next, I'm gonna go into my towels. For towels, I only have one that isn't pink, and that's this white Wilson. Um, now on to some wristbands. I have these white and black Nike wristbands, sorry about that. I have this one black NBA wristband that I definitely don't use. And then I still have these unopened black and white wristbands which you can put them on your biceps if you want then i have this red and black coach wristband and then this black under armor coach wristband on to the rest of my accessories on to some gloves okay so first i have these black nike vapor jet 3.0s yeah 3.0s there's the right one and then the left one's right here. Next in my gloves, I have the red and white Nike Vapor Jet 2.0s. These are actually still in pretty good condition. Like if you can look up by the fingertips, the grip is still on the gloves, mostly. Like I don't see any fading or anything. Next I have my black under Armour Highlight Gloves, which I can't fit. I don't even use them, I just keep them in my bag. And then on the back, the reverse side, Highlight. All right, so next for my last pair of gloves that aren't pink, I have the Nike Vaporjet 4.0s in white. These are all white. We're all white with a little bit of silver slash metallic. Okay, next I'm gonna be going over some of my helmet accessories. And that would include my shock visors. So this is the Inferno colorway of my shock visor. This is the Inferno. I still haven't worn it yet, so the film is still on it. My tiger's blood is back on my other helmet. 
this is my shut visor, which is just clear. I recently bought this. I have the receipt right there, but here we go. It's just a clear visor. I still have it inside the plastic, so clear shut visor. Nothing special about that. I can go into more depth on certain things. Just request what you want me to down below. And also, if you want to see me in, of, in all of my equipment, like just dressed up for practice or something, let me know that. And if you want to see all my pink stuff, let me know. But I also have one last accessory, and that is my, it counts as pink, but either way, it's mostly black. So my hand warmer, but I only use this in nationals because it doesn't really get that cold in Florida. Okay, so the last thing before I wrap up the video are my cleats. So for most of the cleats that I have out right now, these are the only ones that I wear. I have other ones inside of my closet, but I have these cleats right here, the Nike Hyper Venom. These are soccer cleats. I just use these for training and practice. These aren't that bad. They're actually really light, which is why I like them. Next, I cannot fit these at all, but I still have them just to have them. My black and red UA highlight cleats. <laughs> and then lastly, my Nike Mercurial soccer cleats, which I use for practice also. I haven't got my game cleats, so I'm gonna be getting those soon because it is August now, so the season is approaching. And that is it for this video. I'm trying to make sure I didn't leave out anything, but I'm pretty sure I didn't. Yeah, that's it for this video. I didn't include any of my practice pants or any of the simpler things, just most of the more important things, or at least important to me. But that's it, guys. If you wanna see me in my equipment, if you want more in-depth reviews of certain things, just let me know. If you wanna see all of my pink equipment, it isn't that much, but it's still enough that I can include in a separate video. And it's not necessarily October yet, so I wouldn't want to make that video too early. So if you want to see the breast cancer awareness stuff, just let me know. And yeah, that's all I have for this video. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to comment down whatever you think about this video, tips. Just leave any comment. And most importantly, don't forget to subscribe. Help me reach 4K, 5K, 6K, everything. Just help me grow. That's all I have to say.